Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. It has actually been a while since I've sat down to make an actual video, probably about four weeks now since I filmed. So it feels a little bit weird now to be sitting in front of a camera. But as you can tell from the title down below, I am actually really excited about this video in particular because I'm going to be sharing with you what thrifted items that we got for our kiddos' stockings. I have a six-year-old son, a four-year-old daughter, and then a 17-month-old daughter as well. So I'm going to be sharing with you what items we got to put in their stockings and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I will also mention I was actually supposed to do this video yesterday but life happened but this is part of a collaboration with Yasmin from mommy on a move I'll have her channel linked down below and then I also wanted to mention as well is to if you are looking for inspiration or ideas of kids for all ages about different fun and unique stocking stuffers be sure to watch the playlist I'll have that link down below as well it is full full of mamas, again, with all different ages of kiddos, sharing with you what they're putting in their kiddos' stockings. So if you do want fun ideas, go ahead and watch that playlist down below. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So stockings for me growing up was by far my favorite thing, my favorite gift. It was just so fun to open it up and pull out all the little presents and surprises, and you never knew what you were gonna get. Um, but a few of the traditions that my grandmother always did for all of the grandkids, growing up there was 14 of us, 14 grandkids. We'd all be sitting in my grandmother's basement and she would pull out all the stockings and we'd all open them. But a few of the things that she did as far as traditional things that she 100% always put in the bottom of every stocking. But the most favorite one is probably a quarter. In every single grandkid's stocking, she would have a little quarter in the bottom of the toe. So after we opened all the presents and we saw all of the surprises and the candy and everything, we would always reach down to the bottom of the stocking toe, pull out the quarter, and be like, we got our quarter! <laughs> so there was just something growing up about that Christmas quarter. I don't know, it's so much fun. Anyway, um, that is something that we do for our kids as well. We put the little quarter in the bottom of the stocking toe, and it's their Christmas quarter. They love it, and it's just a fun tradition. And a few of the other consumable things, obviously, that are not pre-owned <laughs> is they always get a new toothbrush and new toothpaste and just a few necessities that are really fun stocking stuffers as well. So they'll get some fun bright colored or their favorite caricatures and things like that, like toothbrush, toothpaste. And then they'll also get a chapstick and then as well as normally some candy. I really like the brand Young Earth. I'll have it up above here. I really like their lollipops and I also have some of the gummy bears for them. And then my kiddos love gum, so we found that one of the better alternatives for that is a pure brand. So I got their own bag of bubble gum. So they're gonna be very excited about that, probably the most excited about that since they get their own bag. But <laughs> we'll see if I regret that decision or not. So the first structured thing I picked up, I'm gonna start probably with my six-year-old son's stocking. And that is I got this whole bag of like little reptiles and bugs. If you're new here, my six-year-old son loves, loves, loves bugs and reptiles especially. So I found this bag, it was only $1.50 and it was from a local mom and pop thrift shop around here. And so a few of the things that came in it, I'll just kind of show you here a little bit, was this little chameleon, a little beetle, a couple little salamanders, if you can see them here, another beetle, and another little lizard. This one is fun because you can like move the little, the little feet in the hands and mold it into like whatever you want it to be. And this interesting iguana type thing, it actually looks kind of gross, but I'll love it. <laughs> okay. And a giant squishy grasshopper, which he'll also love. It's kind of weird, but he'll love it. <laughs> and in the bag also came another, a couple handful of just like little bugs and insects that he loves playing with. I find these little insects all over our house, like all over our house, but he plays with them all the time. But every time I come across one, I'm like always jump a little bit because I never know if they're real or not. Another bundle of things I got, and I'll probably wrap these all together, are these little grow animals. He loves these, and we don't get them very often, but they are, he can grow a starfish, grow a giant starfish, and then there is a grow a giant crab, and then here's another little, it looks like an octopus and another little fish, and then there's also a little, I think this is like a dinosaur of some sort, but yeah. So he loves doing these. You can put them in the water and watch them grow overnight. And the pack of four, I think I picked these up at that same store for like 50 cents. So I was like, oh, that's a win. But yeah, he will love, love these. And then the last thing I got for his stocking are these, they're actually Bible highlighters, um, but they're gel highlighters. There's these ones right here. And these I actually also found at their store. These were only a dollar. Um, I don't know what they retail for normally, um, but I knew that I do know the gel highlighters are a little bit more pricey. So I was actually really happy I came across these. They're brand new. 
So I'm not sure yet. I'll probably end up dividing up the colors, give his sister like the little pink ones because I know she'll love those, and then give the rest to him and his stocking, but they both love artsies and crafts things and like that. And then the last thing I have for his stocking are a few little notebooks that have not come in yet, um, little sketch pads and everything like that because they both do love doodling and drawing and everything like that. But yeah, that is everything I got for my six-year-old stocking. So rewind for one second. This is actually, that was not the last thing I forgot. I forgot I got him this as well. For his stocking, these I actually got, I've talked about this many times before, but I love shopping and selling, honestly, on a site called Mercari. Um, and these were brand new, but they're sand, like sand animals, and they're so, so pretty. But I got him the turtle. Um, but they're heavy, they're like heavy little animals, and they're so, so pretty. But I got him the turtle, and I also got him the little octopus. So <laughs> he's gonna love these, and these were actually brand new. I just picked them up for a couple of dollars for both of them. Um, and $4 shipping, so I think it ended up being like $7 to both of them. But yeah, these are beautiful. Um, again, they're weighted, and he loves these. He actually has a yellow and a blue lizard in the same line. I feel like it's Toy Smith, yeah, um, in the same line, and he loves them. But yeah, now that is everything I got for his stocking. <laughs> So for my daughter, I actually got everything I'm going to show you in one bundle on Mercari. A mama on there was actually selling a whole, I believe it's like a pink unicorn, like princess bundle of this miscellaneous items. Everything was brand new, but the whole bundle was only $11, so I'm pretty much filling her whole stocking. Um, minus, I will, as a disclaimer as I mentioned before, and minus of course like the toothbrush and candy and things like that. Um, but the actual fun stuff is only eleven dollars. So if I can get this open here, so the first thing that came in this box is this squishy pink unicorn journal, and this is almost like a little, almost like a nido type feel to it. Really, really fun. But anyway, this is just a brand new little notebook, but it's squishy and fun, and I love it. <laughs> She'll probably love this as much as I do. <laughs> The next few little fun things, there was like a little mermaid tail poppet in there, and then there was like a unicorn little ducky for the bathtub. She loves bath toys, so she'll actually like this almost the most because she loves her bath time. But those are just some fun little stocking stuffers that were in the bundle as well. There's a couple of these little pom-pom keychains, those little sparkly ears. Um, my four-year-old daughter is like a 100% girly girl, so anything pink and sparkly she loves. And she loves these little keychains because she hooks them on her little backpack and takes it with her to the office or wherever we're going. But yeah, she's going to love that too. <laughs> Again, this is another little pom-pom little kitty keychain, whatever. But <laughs> she's going to love that. I know it's so funny, but she will. And then in the same package as well, we're brand new, there's a couple of giant little sparkly hair bows. So there was this sparkly one, and I believe there's like a giant white one. Um, however, I'm not sure. It might be my other stocking stuffer box, but I'll see if I can find it. And then next was this little cute little bag. It's like a little kitty unicorn. I don't even know what they call kitty unicorns, but she loves them. And it's actually a little um, carrying case, um, and I know she'll love that. Probably, probably her number one thing that she carries around right now. <laughs> And then there's two more keychain type things. This one was like a little owl. Um, again, this one was like another little owl thing. I don't know, she'll love these. This is what like, whenever we do go to stores, these are the, like the little type of things that she gravitates towards. So <laughs> I was happy I found them all in the same bundle. And then another little giraffe. And the last thing that came in the box is this little unicorn bank thing that she is going to love. It's like a little password protected treasure box, but you just, enter in the password that unlocks so you can put all kinds of treasures in there. So she'll love this as well. Um, my daughter loves honestly anything that she can put things into. So any type of like little containers or little purses and things like that she just adores. It's like one of her favorite things. That's why that little password unicorn bank and this little thing she's going to probably love. Um, but yeah these are things that I probably honestly would not buy if they were by themselves. Um, but since everything was in a bundle, it was a very easy thing. <laughs> I really like the squishy notebook, but um, yeah, so everything was only $11 in the whole bundle. I thought it was a really, really good deal, and every single thing in here was something that she would probably handpick for herself. So I'm sure she will love everything. Another thing my daughter loves is notebooks. She has loved notebooks probably for about two years now. She has one everywhere, and every backpack for whether it be going to church or activity, she's always got some type of a notebook that she can color in. Um, so anyway, I also thrifted these two little notebooks that I'll probably end up putting in her stocking as well. This one was a really, really cute one. It has little pink flowers on the inside, so she's gonna love. And of course, another little pink notebook. And then I'll probably end up dividing up those um, those Bible gel markers I showed you earlier and give her the pink ones <laughs> because she just loves pink. 
And it's so funny with her because like we'll go shopping and it doesn't matter what the item is. If it is pink, she's like, oh, this is what, this is like what I want to choose to get today or something like that. And so I'll ask her, I'm like, well, do you know what it is? And she's like, no, but it's pink. So she just loves pink. So yeah, she's going to love, she's going to definitely love everything in her stocking this year. So for my baby, she's 17 months old, and in complete transparency, I don't always get my baby's things for Christmas, or at least a lot of things. Um, for her, I have like a couple main gifts for her. One is like a little, one of those little, little book sets, like the little chunky books for little hands. I got her a set of those to open, um, and I got her a couple sensory balls to put in her stocking. Um, but one of the things that I got her, and I actually got a giant version of this for Oliver and Ellie for Christmas, but I'll show you those in a later video. But one of the things I did get for her stocking is this adorable, adorable little bumblebee. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. Um, it's all, I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. It's actually a little sparkly yarn. And I just thought it was the cutest little thing. And I'll link um, the maker of this down below if you want to go check it out. Um, they're made locally, and I just think they're adorable. They are so cute. Anyway, <laughs> I got that to put in my little one's stocking. And then as well as, as I mentioned before, a couple little sensory balls for her to play with. She's at the age now where she loves tossing balls and throwing balls and loves the joy of having someone throw it back to her and kind of like understanding how that works a little bit and she loves playing with little balls. So I did get her a few of those. One of them was like a little Nido glob. It hasn't come in yet. Um, so I got her that and then a little spiky light up ball. So just a fun few sensory things <laughs> that she'll love opening. And honestly, even the little book set that I got, I might wrap each individually because she's at the age now where she does like using those fine motor skills and opening things and having them experience things like that. But yeah, those are really the only things I got for her stocking. Of course, she's not going to have any candy or anything like that in hers. Hers will be a more basic and minimal stocking this year, um, but so have all my other babies in the past. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and God bless. Bye.